Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. We're going to uh, just tell you about TubeBuddy.com. If you are a creator on YouTube, you should be using this. Uh, the link it will be on the screen here, but it will also be in the description below. As you can see, the prices are, those are for the advanced licenses. You could try this for free. Um, they made me a really good offer. After I tried it for about a week, uh, I'm paying $4.50 a month. Offer I could not refuse. So check that link again on the screen. Yeah, uh, TubeBuddy.com forward slash high end cheap tech. Or check the description below when you're done watching the video. And that's all I have. Let's get right back to the video right now. Hi again, folks. Tim here from High End cheap tech and uh just some quick channel news today i did a quick pulling of the trigger you know, it usually takes me longer to make a decision than this but sabrent has this cool disc cloner that i heard about on theo joe's site i'm mentioned it in the last video and I mean, it looks so simple drop both your SSDs in when you follow the instructions and hit the button and it will clone your drive fantastic idea obviously you gotta have a drive to clone it to well I also bought the silicon power. You'll see pictures of these coming up as we talk. I bought the SP 512 3D drive. Gets really good reviews. I've never had a thing wrong. I currently have an SD drive. So I bought both of those. Like 20 minutes after I bought them, I started thinking, wait a minute, with no disk drive in a computer, I'm like going to clone the disk drive from a USB drive. Thinking, hmm. Now, I had read this. And it is an offline clone, meaning I need power. But I ignored that, and so I took the micro SD out of the Alcatel, put it in the computer, and tried to get to move from that. Yeah, install Windows, yeah, Linux. That didn't work, and so I tried, and one of my flash drives, that didn't work. I was like, what oh, son of a bitch? So after wasting like three hours, I went back. And read all the stuff on Amazon about this. All you need to do is power it up. Just the USB power. Got both drives in. Hit the button. So Tuesday night, we'll be getting both these items. No, it's not going to transfer that quick. I mean, we're talking taking like a 240 gig drive with maybe 70 or 80 gig free on it, which is what what was getting me worried and I will transfer that to the new 512 slip her into the ass and the Zotac and of course this allowed me to take the Zotac apart I wanted to see you know how if I could make it boot using a different kind of drive hmm I could boot it to a flash drive using the media creation tool, but I couldn't put Windows 10 on it. 
I could put Windows 10 onto the micro SD, but it wouldn't boot to that. Now, I wasn't about to screw around with the BIOS on the uh, Zotac. I'm pretty sure you should be able to boot to that micro SD card, but no. Right now it works. So why would I? You know, there's an old saying, if it works, don't F with it. So, Tuesday, well, obviously, I laid down, took a little nap for like, I don't know, hours and hours. And I still had my little chest cold, but just took a swig of the Dollar General version of Dayquil. Mmm. But as delicious as any other medicine. Yeah, it, it kind of sucked. Uh, but that's all I got. It, I wish I could spend that $84 on other tech, but since nobody is sharing, subscribing, or donating, <sighs> I had to fork out my own dollars. Now, don't feel bad. I probably won't be eating the rest of the week. Uh, I do have uh, let's see. About half a bag of Cheetos here. Chili cheese. Hopefully that'll get me her and a loaf of bread and a little bit of sliced ham. And that, I'll be dead. In the water. I can afford to lose the weight. Not really. I'm really like 139 right now, folks. Uh, but seriously, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and thank you if you watch the whole video. Catch you later. Catch you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Sunday evening. There should be some football coming up. Night.